welcome back to my channel magnolia budgets or if you're new hello welcome i am so glad to have you here today we do all things cash stuffing budget planning saving challenges and honestly just all things dealing with money and of course we come here to chat so yes for today's video i'm going to be stuffing my cash envelopes and sinking funds and this is going to be for the last paycheck in march and the first paycheck of april so let's go ahead and count and see how much money we're going to stop stuff today 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 310. Okay, so we're going to be stuffing $310 today. I know it seems like a lot, but this is for two paychecks, you guys. So definitely keep that in mind. Apparently, we're not going to be stuffing any fives and ones. So let's go ahead and get right into the cash stuffing. All right, besties. So this week we're going to be stuffing a total of $525. And let's go ahead and get right into our weekly cash. So we're going to stuff zero in fur babies. So let me just go ahead and write that in. All right. So we're going to go ahead into my pink ostrich A7 binder, y'all. We don't have that many left. We have very very few left i'm not sure if i'm going to restock them or not i kind of want to because i absolutely love them so definitely leave a comment down below if you think i should restock them and see if i can get them in some more colors or not all right so self-care is going to get 50 dollars um i do want to get my nails done i want to get these taken off or yeah i'm thinking about getting them taken off I'm thinking about um getting like a different design 20 40 50 like a different style i'm not really sure what kind of style i want to get as far as like the shape um i love the coffin shape but i think i want to try something new 20 40 60 70 so we have 70 dollars in self-care i'm thinking about going to the old place that i went to before i think i had mentioned it to y'all um that i was thinking about doing that and i think that's what i'm gonna do miscellaneous zero fair baby zero groceries has just a few coins in there i actually need to um put all of my coins in my pig but i kind of like for my coins to build up a little bit and then i will stuff the piggy all right so we're gonna put a hundred dollars in groceries and like i said that's for two weeks so 20 40 60 80 100 yay i grabbed like the perfect amount um so i'm not sure but i think some of it is gonna go to manifestation and then the rest is probably gonna go back to my car because i have already bought groceries like i said i'm i'm kind of late with my stuffing y'all so I have definitely already spent the money. Five, six, seven, eight. So I just need to pay myself back. So we have eight dollars in gas. I really don't pull money from the gas envelope much. I just make sure that I have about fifty dollars for gas every single week, and I just put it on one of my cards. And sometimes it'll I'll need the full fifty, and sometimes I won't. And so money will just accumulate, and that's how I pay for my gas. And then I also try not to let my gas tank go below the half, go below half a tank because then it takes more money to fill up. All right, so shopping 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. So we have $69 in shopping. And then Starbucks and date night. And then I do have some money that's going to be going to the bank. I will say that this wallet is very sturdy. I absolutely love it. I feel like this is my favorite one that I've had so far. And the size is perfect, especially for the purse that I carry right now. I'm, d I'm carrying the puffer tote from TJ Maxx right now. But I also carried like a, um, like the tote bag, um, dupe, Amazon dupe. Um, and this fit perfectly. And so I love this size. It doesn't get scratched easily. It doesn't get stained. It doesn't get, you know, there's no, I absolutely love it. It's easy to clean. And I don't know it. I just love it so much. So this is my favorite one so far. Um, I did have one that wasn't as wide, the A7 that I loved as well. The one that I had before this, but I've also carried the A6 and the A6 was definitely way too big for an everyday like wallet i definitely don't like the a6 so the a7 is like the perfect size wallet for me and for 
the bags that I carry. All right, so we're gonna go ahead on into our Secret Funds Binder. So vacation number one, this is my bachelorette trip. Let me see if I can bend this a little bit, y'all. I haven't been in these binders in a while. Okay, so vacation number one is gonna get fifty dollars. So twenty forty, and then fifty. And so I can't wait to go for my bachelorette. I still have a lot to do for my bachelorette. Like I'm still trying to pick out my things for every day. I picked out a few, but I haven't settled on anything specific. And then I'm still trying to get the itinerary together because I, I'm kind of the person that likes to know what we're going to do, but I'm also like the, I guess, spontaneous and fly by the seat of your pants type of person too. Because I'm like, if I have downtime and I feel like I can squeeze something in, then let's do it. I don't have to stay like to a strict plan or anything like that. So I don't know. Um, I just like to go with the flow, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So I don't know, y'all, but I'm super excited about it. And my plane flight is already purchased. My mom has already purchased our Airbnb. I'm just so excited. Like all everybody has to do is get their clothes, get their plane tickets, have some spending money, and show up. I'm just so excited about it. Like, y'all, I made my vision board this year, and on my vision board, I put traveling. Like, I put so many pictures about traveling and I have really been doing a lot of different things this year and I'm just so excited about it and happy about it and you know I know that it's it's it's, it's controversial some people feel like you should just save 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 and take a trip like once a year or once every other year and then you have your people who are just like I'm not gonna work every day you're not gonna slave me I'm going to take a trip whenever I want to because you're going to replace me, you know, regardless. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, even if I work, come here every day to work, if I do one wrong thing or a customer gets mad and complains about me, you're going to fire me and replace me next day. So I might as well travel and do what I want to do anyway. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm kind of both. I'm in the middle. I'm in between those two because... There's no way that I can just not work like consistently. I have to work, but I do try to plan my vacations around like times where our job is closed. So that's what I try to do. So I try to find a, you know, my work life balance um, that way. But I really just want to travel this year and I'm so excited about it. And I really need a second job. I need a nighttime job or something like that, like work from home, nighttime job, because I'm really not a people person like that. I've never had a retail job or a fast food job or like a waitress job or anything like that. So I don't think I would do well um, like in any of those positions just because I'm shy. So yeah, um, I definitely need like a work from home job, no phone like chat email type of job <laughs> all right so vacation has one two three four twenty forty sixty so four sixty seventy eighty eighty five eighty six so four eighty six is what we have in vacation number one i went on a full blown rant but nonetheless i feel like all of us should not worry about how am i going to pay this how am I going to pay that? Y'all, I'm telling you, I have been there. I have literally been there where I'm just like, I don't know how I'm going to pay this. I don't know how I'm going to pay that. Buy grocery to put in my fridge. I'm like, where are we going to get this money from? And my fiance is just like so positive. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. God got us. God got us. God got us. So it's like every time I'm in this position, I'm just like, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to stress about it. God did not put me on this earth to worry about these things. Okay. I'm supposed to put all my worry onto him and he's going to make a way for me. He's going to provide for me. I don't have to worry about it. So you don't have to worry about it 
either just do your best every single day and show up for yourself and the people around you and I feel like God will provide and he's gonna make a way for you just don't give up do your best every single day that's what I say do travel when you can travel you know buy that house buy that car when you can move when you can you know do do everything you know when you think the time is right but don't rush it because then that's when you make a mess out of everything but also like a lot of things that we all go through is a test and you know y'all know i'll be listening to my podcast and my lives and they just be like you know turn your test into a testimony T turn your mess into a message so don't just sit there oh i lost my job oh i'm this I, I, i'm depressed my my boyfriend left me my husband left me he cheated on me y'all <laughs> come on now you gotta pick yourself up you know get up and move on just move on you know cry a little bit but then wipe your tears okay apply to some more jobs you know or help your boyfriend apply to some jobs um do what you have to do okay that one relationship as well is not the end all be all like you there's plenty of fish in the sea okay been there done that as well but i will say i've always been the type of person who never who has never really like been down about a relationship for a long time like i've never been that type of person like i've never had an issue getting a man like anybody else just like <laughs> is anybody else like that how you just never had an issue getting a man so it's like i've never been in so deep to the point where i just you know have been so depressed where i couldn't just move on so i definitely feel like all of us need to build that thick skin like it's plenty of men out here who is willing to love you and be with you and be loyal to you like you don't have to settle for less you deserve everything you want and more anyhow vacation number two 20 40 60 80 110 20 25 125 26 27 28 Let's go ahead and move on along because, y'all, I've been trying to keep my videos short and then I just went on a full-blown rant. Okay, so savings. Y'all know I gotta get my little motivation here and there. 5, 10, 15, 16. So, y'all know, I, I just be letting other people pour into me and then I bring it to y'all and pour into y'all and try to motivate y'all. So, y'all know how I do. Alright, so car maintenance, y'all. All of this money is about to go back to my bank because I did just go and get an oil change. 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. So that's going back to the bank. Let's put 85. Going back onto my account because I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was a little over $80. It was about $85. So vacation is going to get 10, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65. We have 65 in vacation. 65 always save you a little bit of money for a vacation okay a little getaway even if it's just for the weekend sometimes you need that reset that me time or uh bay time whatever you want to call it time with your significant other month ahead is gonna get 10 So month ahead, 120, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 187. And then wedding is going to get 20. I've already paid my water bill. I've caught up on that. So I'm good on my water bill. Y'all, we just paid off my photographer. So I'm so excited about that. I'm so thankful and grateful. I'm, I cannot wait for my wedding. I'm just so excited about it. Um... I'm just excited it's just so exciting because you start checking off things because at first you're just like oh god I have this to do that to do the list is just so long and then you just start checking off things and you're just like oh I'm finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel so I'm so excited about it all right so so far we got all of this going back to the bank okay which is always good to pay yourself back 
all right besties that's pretty much it for today's video don't forget to like comment subscribe tell your friends about my channel so come on over here budget with us chat with us a little bit go check out my website magnoliabudgets.com and go check out my Etsy shop. It is linked down below in the description box. I'm sure there's something over there that you will love or that someone else will love that you can gift to them. Last month we did reach our goal and I'm just so, so thankful and grateful for you all. And I hope and pray that we meet our goal this month as well. But regardless, if we don't, I'm just so thankful and grateful. Any sale, like, share, comment, follow, subscriber that I get on all of my platforms and my shops is a blessing to me. I'm so thankful and grateful for you all. But you guys, I will catch you in my next video. All right. Bye.